Hello and welcome friends. Welcome to another episode where I review vintage fountain pen beauties. Today I have for you a quite interesting interesting piece from the 1920s and this fountain pen came from France. When I bought it it was in this old old um, leather pouch you can see on it we have two symbols I believe that this is a crown or a fleur de lis which is the symbol of the French and also here some nice 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 flower engraving well I bought it as it is guys and it included this beautiful 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 fountain pen it is fitted with a gold nib but unfortunately it is um warranted 18 karat first quality nib so it doesn't tell us much about the producer of the fountain pen i believe that the warranted nibs were produced in England and in America at the beginning of the 20th century. But one of the important clues, it is engraved on this beautiful, beautiful baron. So we have Manufacture Francais, Gold Starry, Marque numero or number 255 deposit so interesting for a french made fountain pen this english name gold starry and in fact this manufacturer has an interesting interesting history that i will share with you my friends so back in 1909 Maurice Jandel began marketing Conway Stewart fountain pens in France under the gold star brand name and this gold star was trade uh, this trademark was registered but in 1912 it's, he registered also the Gold Starry brand and he chose Gold Starry to reflect the English origin of the fountain pens. The first fountain pens sold by the Gold Starry were hard rubber, black or marble safety fountain pens and the first models were introduced around 1913. They were eyedropper fillers or safety pens identified by two digits, respectively the model 36 and the model 39, indicated, indicating the price in French francs. At the beginning of the 1920s, Paul Janvrin and André Petit began a fountain pen production in a small factory at the outskirts of Paris. And in, 19, in uh, 1921, those two entrepreneurs joined Maurice Jandel and so the gold starry phantom pen manufacturer was established and it was a wholly owned French company. They started their own fountain pen production and they stopped importing English pens. With the manufacturing in France, the company adopted the slogan Les stylos qui marche, meaning both the dynamism 
and the reliability of their pants. Their first pants had gold names and black or marble hard rubber body eyedropper filler with no clip. In 1925, the models 256 and 257 was introduced. They were uh, safety models characterized by the trademark consisting of a star, the manufacturer Frances engraved on the barrel, and some dotted rings on the cap top. The pens were still without a clip, which was introduced on the following model 254. The gold star was one of the first French companies to use celluloid. They started using celluloid since 1929, getting excellent quality colored pens with vibrating colors as black, red and white marble, lapis blue, cardinal red, green jade and jasper in interesting patterns with uh, gold plated or gold nibs able to compete with imported American pants. Gold Star managed to stay afloat during the war time, the Second World War and After the war, like other producers, this French manufacturer, Gold Starry, suffered heavily from the crisis of the ballpoint pen introduction. And they tried to react by building cartridge fountain pens and participating in 1959 in the consortium from the, for the production of the visor pen. So practically the visor pen was uh, the answer to the fountain pen industry to the manners of the ballpoint pen. They wanted to create the visor pen which was uh, quite quite inexpensive and uh, could compete directly with the ballpoint pen. Although the visor pen was not a commercially success, the gold study was able to move forward and overcome this crisis period with the, the differentiation of production. They went in the market of luxury office accessories, building calendars, rulers, letter openers, they were all producing gold-plated metal. Also, in addition, they've uh, created a line of luxury ballpoint pens, always gold-plated, which had a remarkable success. Unfortunately, the company suffered heavily from the effects due to the blockade imposed on the gold prices which made its uh, products too expensive and despite all the efforts in 1980 gold Starry had to close its doors so this was the interesting interesting history of the gold starry french manufacturer and guys this fountain pen didn't cost me a lot of money. I paid around 100 lace for it or only 20.21 20 euros or 23.37 American dollars. And why was that? Because I negotiated with the seller and I told him that a replacement cap is almost impossible to find. As you can see, guys, I think that here it was a quite small, small cap. 
I'm not sure if if it was fitted with the clip. And judging by the number 255, well, I believe that this was a fountain pen from the middle of the 1920s, guys. And you can see it had the cap here, which uh, screwed on to the body. But also interesting, when you cap it, it could be screwed right here. Interesting, I don't know for sure the filling mechanism or if this is a safety pan with the broken um, retrieving mechanism. But all I know is if I pull on this, you can see it pulls out. But when I try to rotate it or I try to pull even more, it is stuck. So maybe you can tell me in the comments what I have here and if it could be... Uh, let's say restores in a way or another on my desk I have uh, several writing instruments that were made also in hard rubber specific to the 1920s I have here a beautiful beautiful Waterman ideal fountain pen you can see this beautiful idea. This is a lever filler. Again, with a nice, nice material. We have number seven on it. If you are interested in its review, I will leave it at the end of this video. So this is an American model. I have here what many people suggested could be also a French fountain pen. This is also fitted, I believe, with a warranted uh, nib. Let me see. Yes, a warranted 14 karat first quality nib. You can see it has 14 karat. So I believe the, that uh, this wasn't sold in France because, to my knowledge, all the fountain pens had 18 karat nibs which were sold in France. And again, last uh, Italian producer, you are familiar with the Aurora fountain pen, Fabrica. Let me zoom on it. Fabrica Italiana di Penne. Serbatoio from Torino in Italy, Aurora. This is a model Ara number three. So you can see here engraved. I hope you can see in this lighting. So we have an Ara number three. Unfortunately, this beautiful, beautiful model is not fitted with the original Aura nib but a replacement almost extra fine gold plated nib it is what it is guys if you are interested i will also leave its review at the end of this video and now returning to our fountain pen well now guys i will try to put them side by side and of course also i will leave the dimensions of our gold study fountain pen on the screen so you can see the difference between them bear in mind that this has a uh, has an its gap so i will leave is the uh, dimension as they are without the cap and guys for the writing sample i thought to myself that i can use an interesting interesting color and I think I think I will use a red one if I can find it let me see what I have here well I'm not so sure I found the pelican 4001 this is quite a dry dry ink maybe I can find some red ink yes and i found this faber castell red ink i think it's fine so we have a red ink red 
this cannot be erased okay let me try it i'm uh, sorry guys i really don't know the filling mechanism maybe you can help me in your comments so i will simply take those out of the picture and maybe yes it's better for me to change the angle of the camera for you to see better guys this writing sample let me see so i will take it right here okay i've changed the angle of the camera and now i'm ready for the writing sample let me give it a little shake to the ink i will dip it in ink and i hope that it will hold the feeder will hold enough ink for us to do a proper proper writing sample look what nice color it has let me see where i have my tissue yes i have here my tissue i will just gently remove the excess from this part which has a roll, believe it or not, of a gripping section. I try to hold my fountain pen like this. So this is the gold starry pen. Let me zoom on it for you to see better, guys. Not so much, but this is a gold starry fountain pen. It was made in France, made in France around 1925. I am sorry about uh, this color. You can see uh, that uh, maybe this was um, contaminated with a black ink or maybe a dark blue ink and this is what happens so we have a like a caramel red quite quite a dark red here so a gold starry fountain pen made in france in 1925 fitted with a warranted Eighteen carats first quality gold nib and guys this nib seems quite quite flexible and springy and for that let me zoom as much as I can yes like this because I want to see if the tines, yes, look, the tines it has a little bit of a flex, a wonderful, wonderful warranted nib. So definitely a flexy nib. Okay, let me test how, uh, if it has some line variance. So here, no pressure. And here, a little bit of pressure. So, line variance, I won't say it has line variance, so no line variance, at least not a visible line variance. Let me zoom out for a little bit, guys, and let me see how juicy it is. Quite, quite juicy, as you can see, and look at this uh, ink, it's developed a brown, brown color. Well, it seems to be in uh, <laughs> complete uh, uh, accord with the body of this beautiful, beautiful hard rubber fountain pen. Okay, flex, no line variance, quite, quite a juicy writer. Let me see if I can do a signature with it. Yes, quite, quite nice. And let me see if we can reverse write with it reverse writing so reverse writing no in my opinion no it wasn't designed for reverse writing it scratches a little bit so the reverse writing it is not possible 
And I'm amazed again about the flexiness of this beautiful, beautiful nib. It's quite, quite nice. It has the right amount of flexiness. Look at it. Quite, quite nice. You can see. Whoa. A beautiful, 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 beautiful nib. And uh, guys, in a way, it is a shame when I find those fountain pens in the wild without any parts. But it was a great opportunity for me to negotiate a quite, quite nice price of only 20, let's say 21 euros or 24 American. <laughs> American dollars. Now I am ready to tell you about the quick fox. So I will write as um, large as I can, guys. So let me give a little zoom and I hope it will zoom on it. So the quick. Brown Fox Jumps Okay, okay, let me put here So the quick brown fox jumps Over the lazy dog Whoa, a nice, nice piece, guys, and I hope that uh, you've seen the capabilities of these great, great nibs. Maybe someday I will do a special video about the warranted nibs. I'm not so sure the manufacturer, the manufacturer of those nibs. I know for a fact that they were made in uh, the America, in the United States of America and in England. But some of them are pretty, pretty amazing. Lots of the collectors believe that those pens were replacement nibs. But you must understand that some of the um, European manufacturers, smaller uh, European manufacturers, when they were at the beginning of their activity, they didn't have the capability of building their own nibs. So they uh, went to those great, great producers of nibs Maybe when they had enough money, they could order a special, special lot of nibs that were engraved with their own uh, logo or brand. But I believe they were cheaper if they were simply engraved with warranted first quality nibs. Like the name says, first quality, yes, this is a beautiful, beautiful nib that stood the test of time. So all the way from 1925 to almost uh, 2025, so almost uh, 100 years since it first saw the light of day. Thank you guys for your time. I want to wish you to have a wonderful day wherever you are my friends I want to thank you for your time thank you for watching this beautiful beautiful French fountain pen as always I will see you at the next episode but till then please keep take care of yourselves and god bless bye bye